drag your chair up a little bit closer. We're going. We're going to put the governor. We're going to put the governor system on the engine. I done. I done already. Put this on here, right here. That's the exhaust system. That was original uh, one and a quarter inch pipe ale that came out of there. And originally, this this would have been a short nipple here with a cast iron muffler on it. Well, I don't much like them mufflers, so I'm going to I'm going to put this type of exhaust system on there. And I will get to that later, but it will have upright pipe on it. Uh, the governor system. Let's get on with that. And it's this thing right here. It's this little thing right here. And I'll show you something. This, this little arm right here, this part right here, that was a, um, that was forged. It was in a, a press put a piece of metal in there and a die come down and forged it and and you can see the departing line normally would have been straight down halfway from one end to the other and on this one right here it comes down right there and then it twists this a quarter of the way around on both sides so someone has tightened this in the past so tight that they twisted that <laughs> Eh, you never know what you're going to eat. You don't know these engines, these engines talks to you. You remember that? But we, let's, let's just put this on here and, and, and just, just we got plenty of play. We got good free threads right there. And that, that goes up and down. The, uh, and, and let me explain this while we're here and then we'll do it. When, uh, when we adjust the fork back here, the weight fork and arm and everything when we adjust that when we come back up here to the front the way that we want to, the numbers that we want to end up with is when this and this butter there's a there's a butterfly in there if you remember and on the original ones it's got a little flat thing casted in that housing and that's the position of that butterfly in yonder so when that's up when that comes up and bottoms out, there's a little ear there and a thing over yonder, spring in there, spring loaded. When that comes up and bottoms out, that butterfly is closed, as, as closed as it's going to get. So when we adjust this right here, this eyelet, this hole in here, should be... Uh, sixteenths. Uh, I think the book says a sixteenths to three thirty seconds taller. This needs to be higher than the the end of this shaft right here. Like if you see, it fits right on there like that. Okay. The way do you adjust that is when you come out like this, you would raise it up a sixteenths or three thirty seconds past that. The reason you do that is so that this right here is capable of closing that off completely. If if this was if this was below this hole, if the end of this shaft was below this hole, then when this bottomed out, it never would shut the engine down. So t to have that gap on the top there, like that, you have the capability the the governors you have the capability of setting the weights to where it would shut the engine off yeah, that's that's the way it works the components of that is this 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 rod right here and I just kind of playing with it uh, just uh, just kind of playing with it it goes right like that and right like that okay when, when that ends up when when you adjust it back there on the fork this this plane right here and the plane of this when you put your ruler like that right there those should be See, if, if it's too far out this way, they won't line, it'll be like that. Okay, and you bring it back like this right here until they are both right there. It's straight up and down. If you know, you, you, right there, that's very good. Okay, and if you, if you need to, 
Let's see. Get it right now because that's quite important. You don't want that to be in a bind. Okay. Now, for peace of mind, you can come over here and put you a pencil mark or a piece of tape here to kind of indicate where you're at right there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right there, let's see. Okay, I think it should be about right there. So let's put that little piece of tape right there. Okay, and and that's when, when we slide that back in there, that'll just give us a little visual. But making it easy. Just making it easy, that's all. Uh, first timers. Okay, now that's, uh, looking at it sideways here, it actually looks like it needs to come back a little bit, but it works pretty good. Now, there will be occasions where if that's in a bind, it will be to the point to where that if you turn this one half around, that's how, that's how much difference some of these makes. Turn that half around and it will work that much easier. Okay, now on on these on on these two and it's important that this little this this part here it's important that that and the the two pins that comes out it's important that they be and this one up here don't be fooling with that because that's pop metal and you will break that thing just looking at it they'll break so if you're going to do any bending you do it on the bottom one right if it's at an angle then you would bend it to where they're both parallel let's say plumb yeah this thing right here needs to be in plumb i think that's the correct designation right there but but you got to that goes on there the little the spacer washer goes down there the spacer washer goes up here and then a the cotter goes there and a the cotter goes there it's uh, free moving uh, the adjustment right here uh but let's we're getting ahead of us well no we're not we're just explaining it the and that's that's explained that up to this point